Hi, I'm David. And I'm Rachel. And welcome to Leisure Bit. And today we're coming to you from Hoddam Castle and Caravan Park in Dumfries and Galloway. So let's crack on. After leaving Penrith we headed to the Metal Bridge. We've stayed over here before and we really enjoyed it, so we thought we'd call in for lunch. Rachel had nachos to start and sweet and sour chicken and chips and rice, and I had the mushrooms and turkey. That's filled a hole, we'd better get cracking. We'll pick the journey up at Annan now and head up to Hoddam. We'll the weather wasn't great when we arrived. There was a storm passing over the UK at this point. Yeah, so pretty, and here we are, we've arrived at Hoddam Castle Caravan Park and are just heading down the driveway. We were here for the CV Owners Facebook meet. There was one last year, and for those of you that have followed the channel for a little while, you might remember it, where Rachel and I stayed in a pod as we were waiting for our van to arrive. What a difference a year makes. Hey, darling, you know we're gonna... And here we are now arriving at the castle itself. The rain was absolutely bucketing down at this point. You can see some of the other CV vans arriving. We decided to wait in the car park as we were a little bit early. Right, that's us checked in, so let's head round to our pitch now. We were on pitch number 71. Now we need a little bit of magic now just to get rid of this rain. There we go. So let's take a look around Hoddam Castle Caravan Park. There's a children's play area on the site. In the touring area, the pitches are arranged on a slightly sloping, tiered arrangement with some facing slightly different ways so it doesn't look like big long rows. There's a fresh milk machine on site as well and I thought I'd give it a go. It was probably the most expensive litre of milk I'd ever bought because the bottle was £2 and it was another couple of pounds to fill it up and I went for the strawberry milkshake and it was very tasty though. There was also some catering facilities available on the site. The Coach House restaurant had recently closed and hopefully will be opening up again in the near future. The usual facilities were available that you would expect and they were fairly large and clean. There was also a laundry on site which allowed you to do washing, drying and ironing for a fee. There was mini golf and hopscotch available outside too. It was then time to take Roxy for a little walk. There's a great little dog walk around the site. Typically it started to rain. So we'll just wait here until the rain stops, it's, it's absolutely bucketing down. Fortunately the rain eased off so we made our way back to the van. It settled off into quite a pleasant evening. Good 
So let's take a quick look from above now. We took a walk from the site up to Repentance Tower. We saw it in Wizard in the Wilds video last year and we thought we must check it out. It took us about 15 to 20 minutes to walk up to the tower and we headed out the back of the site and turned right down the road, walked a few hundred metres then did a left and followed the public footpath sign up to the tower. There were some lovely views of the surrounding countryside as you headed up towards the tower. After a short climb up the hill, we were almost at the tower. You could see the castle from here also. You can see right the way along the English Solway coast from here. So let's take a little bit closer look at Repentance Tower. The tower has a bit of a shaded history and it's believed to date back to around the 1560s. There's some more information on its possible origins at the base of the tower. After we'd had a look round, we wandered back down the track and back to the campsite. The kind people at Hoddam Castle allowed us to use the games room to have our meeting in with the weather being a bit iffy. We were very fortunate to get live music from the Tin Stones, Neil and Geordie Bry. And also on Saturday night they were joined by a fellow CV owner, Jim Wilson, who played the accordion. Two fantastic evenings and a massive thank you for organising and happy retirement to George. The following morning after Roxy had had a walk we were joined by Nick from Travels in Betty. And I'm Nick from Travels in Betty. Nick, it's ages since we met you at River Bremish, wasn't it? I know, yeah. What, April was it? Easter? Yeah, Easter. Yeah. What a great meet-up that was, it was, wasn't it? was. First one for us. And you organised it? I, well, yeah. So we planned it um, to go there anyway, because what with it being bank holiday weekend, we thought, why not? And I thought, I'll just put it on the group and see if anyone else joins. And you did, which was great, because you were I, the best people in the world. <laughs> <laughs> and you were our neighbours. I know. And we had Banjo Neil. Yeah, yeah, so he was good. It, it was a really, really good meet-up, yeah. wasn't it? So it's brilliant to meet up with you again here. Yeah, it's lovely. We organised it there, didn't we? We actually booked the pitch yeah. while we were there. Yeah, it was great. So, Nick, you've got CV80. Yeah. Why did you pick that one? Well, so originally we had a T5. Right. And it was brilliant. We loved it. Um, but... We then had a child, Archie. <laughs> Who <laughs> Which, is just the best camping dude oh, in the history. He is, he's great. But the space in the T5. Oh, we did 10 nights up in Oban in Scotland and it was snug. We did have our parents there, so that was good because uh, we could nip into their van. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was just too much with the dog and Archie. There was no space and also there was no toilet. 
which yeah difficult. so anyway we were fortunate enough to be able to get a cv and it's just it's brilliant there's so much space because she also has got the, the pop, pop top. top. Yeah, so we can sleep upstairs and yeah. Archie sleeps in the back normally. Aww. And then we've got the diner area. So we've got like a living space as well, which is yeah. really good. Where we live in the, like, so close to the Lake District, we can just nip off, park anywhere we want really. <laughs> just, you see everything, you appreciate it more rather than just driving around in a car. <laughs> oh, you're so lucky though, haven't you? You've got so many gorgeous places. Yeah, we are lucky. Okay. And you don't appreciate it until you actually do something like in a van yeah much better i tell you what though i've enjoyed this hod and meat as well yeah yeah me too um, i don't know how many vans are out here. i think carl counted 20. is there 20 vans yeah wow it's, it's a lot it's a lot of people in it but you meet them and it's nice you make friends for life <laughs> oh, you do though don't you yeah. i mean when you say oh, everybody last night and everyone was having such a good night yeah and you know everybody was talking to everybody else what have you thought of Hodham? I like it. I like it. It's different. So we normally go on caravan club sites, um, but we're not actually joining the club next year because we're going to Europe for our yep. honeymoon. Then we're not going to be able to use it as much, so it's a waste of time joining. Um, so it's it's very different to a club site because you've got the statics and the um, pods and things like that, and it's it's quite a large site. Yeah. Um, but I like it. The grounds are nice. Yeah, the only thing was the shower was cold this morning. Oh, but, never. Yeah. Oh. But, I mean, it could have just been a, a yeah. glitch. You don't know these things, do you? Nick, thanks for coming today. Not a problem. And thanks I'm, sure for inviting me. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be seeing you again very, Definitely, very soon. Yeah. And everyone, thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Yeah, see you soon. I arranged a walk on Saturday from Hodham Castle Caravan Park along the Annandale Way past Milkbank House, the remains of, and then on to Kettle Home, where we stopped in the tea room. There were some interesting sculptures out of wood on the way. We're just going past the remains of Milkbank House. And we've arrived at Kettle Home Coffee Shop. It was a really delightful and friendly coffee shop. I decided to have a sausage. I was tempted with the cakes though as well, and a latte of course. After a lovely and refreshing stop in the delightful cafe, we then headed back towards the campsite. So we're nearly back to the campsite now after a walk probably about seven seven and a half miles ish uh, we walked down the annandale way from hodham and then took a route back same way we came actually after stopping for a nice cup of coffee at the tea shop in kettlehorn roxy's enjoyed herself but i think she was a bit upset she didn't get any of the sausage from the cafe So that's us safely back at the campsite and we didn't get lost either. All good things must come to an end and that includes the CV meter at Hodham Castle. So we're on our way now and stopped by the motorhome service point to drain down before we headed on to our next destination. A brilliant sight, an amazing group and fantastic people. What more could you ask for?
So, Rachel, what did you think of Hoddon Castle and Caravan Park and the CV Owners Club meet? Well, David, I really liked it. It was so lovely and we got to meet so many new people. Great fun. So, David, what did you think? I thought it were great until the Saturday night when that noisy couple in that black band turned up. They were a nightmare. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. See you on another one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>